Hey everyone, it's Annie here. And I just finished my workout. And so what I'm doing is with some of my coaches is just giving them a quick tip um, for the day. So for Beachbody coaches, I'd say that my the biggest gift that you can probably give yourself with this business is the gift of time. Um, if you're one of those people that's going to be here a year from now or two years from now, then your business is going to explode. And I'll give you some examples of why that is the case. Um, a lot of people that you see so much potential in might tell you no. Um, they don't want to do what you're doing right now. And a lot of people will take that as a personal blow that that person just really doesn't want to do it. And maybe that person doesn't. Um, but one of the reasons why some people feel so you know, hurt and emotional about why people say no is because you see so much potential in that person and you personally know, you know that this has helped you in all aspects of your life, financially, emotionally, physically, and you know, sometimes it's, you're thinking, this is crazy, why wouldn't that person want to do what I'm doing? Um, but many of the time, many cases is that person is just not ready. It's more of a time issue for that individual person. Um, you don't really know all the pieces and everything that's going on in their life, um, whether it's kids or family or work. So it's not that that person can't be successful with this business. It's more of a time issue with themselves. And if you're here um, two, you know, a year to two years from now and that person's ready to join and they're following you because chances are if that, that person really wants to do this, they're going to continue to follow you. Um, and when they're ready, they're going to join with you. But if you're not here, then chances are that person, you know, is going to give up on themselves because they saw you give up on you. Um, and there's so many people on our team that that's a prime example of. Um, myself, it took me two years to have my coach ask me um, to be a coach. I said no probably 200 times. Um, and it was really a timing issue for me. I was pregnant and I just didn't know how to start. Um, I have other people on my team that joined two years ago and now they're really getting started. Um, my sister, who's a top 100 coach right now, took her five years to say yes, five years, and now she's a top, top 100 coach. So really, it's just a timing issue. It's not that they can't be successful. They're just waiting to see, you know, if you're going to be here in the long haul, and then when it's the right time for them, then they're going to jump on board. But as long as you never give up on yourself and you just are here and you're not going to emotionally take those no's as something that you did wrong because you didn't do anything wrong. You're just, you know, living your life and sharing how this has helped you. And sometimes I know that we're so passionate about what we do and we just see the positive in so many ways because we took that leap of faith. But you have to remember that other people sometimes might not be on that path. And when they're ready and you're still here, in the long term, then they're going to join you. Bye, guys.